You probably should know what this is, especially if you're a long time viewer of this channel. <sighs> and know that I love Stranger Things. And of course, I'm talking about the Stranger Things edition Polaroid One Step Two camera along with its limited edition frames. And what I haven't done before is actually talk about the camera and the film itself and a little bit of backstory of it. So let's uh, take a quick trip and shoot some of this and then let's dive into the history. You know the type of guy that was a jock in high school but ended up becoming a huge nerd? You know, someone that's not afraid to make a fool of themselves on the internet. And someone that likes to shoot Polaroid a little too much. Did I say huge nerd? You know, just an ordinary, everyday guy. Well, that's me. I'm just another Chris. You have to stand up. Hmm? In 2019, Stranger Things season three came out and they did a massive, massive marketing campaign. They pulled like a Star Wars marketing level campaign. It was really, really cool and exciting to be honest. Uh, flash forward to the next season, which came out in 2022. They barely did anything, unfortunately. And more sadly, there was definitely no Polaroid love, no new camera and no new film. So in 2019, they did a collaboration with Polaroid and they produced the One Step 2 camera. Now I've actually done a full breakdown of this camera a couple of years ago for my very first ever Halloween special, 2020 edition. There's a link in the description below if you wanna check that out, but you know, here's a couple of the, the highlights. And this particular camera actually is uniquely different from the other One Step 2 cameras. This is one of the final forms, if not the final form or the final edition uh, of the One Step 2 camera. They did a couple different iterations with some modifications here and there. They added a viewfinder. Yeah, they didn't have a little tube in the very first one. They added this in the later model, but this particular one, they actually improved the flash uh, over all the rest of them. And I don't think they actually produced any more One Step 2 cameras after this one. I could be wrong on that, but as far as I know, this was it. Cause then a year later, they switched over to the Polaroid Now, which was this guy right here. But we're not talking about that in today's video. Then not only they brand it Stranger Things and give it a, a unique color, there's a couple other things that they've done to this to make it unique. They printed it upside down. Get it? <laughs> it's pretty cool. And not only that, they re 
tool, their injection machines to make the instructions Stranger Things themed. Yeah, that's pretty mind blowing to see, especially on these other cameras that have come out after this camera. They just changed the color scheme of it and left everything else the same, even on like the Mandalorian, the uh, Ken, Ken Burn, no, what was the other one? The artist guy, Keith Haring, that's his name. It's all the same, it's just a different paint job. This one is actually brand new molding to it. It's pretty cool. One of the better collaborations I've seen that Polaroid has done. So when they released this camera, they released some film. It's honestly been my favorite. Now this might be a little bit of a shock to you, but you strip the Stranger Things name off of the film and the camera. I would still prefer the film and the camera over all the other box cameras from iType, Polaroid that is. This camera produces such unique images. I, I could just be me, but I, I get such beautiful, sharp and unique looking photos from this camera that I can get in like my One Step Plus camera or even the Polaroid now. But not only do I get some great photos with this, but pairing it with the Polaroid Stranger Things frames, I don't know, these frames are, man, you get such cool images out of this. Now, as the years go by, it gets worse and worse because, you know, it's pretty expired. <laughs> <laughs> and I still have a couple boxes. I think I have actually three boxes left. Yeah, I went a little nuts in 2020 and bought about, I think 25 boxes of these at one point. I had I had a lot of these and I'm, I'm down to the last few. They just produced such beautiful retro vintage looking photos. And maybe you don't know what I'm talking about, but Polaroid will do special edition frames and change up the chemistry a little bit inside to give it its own unique look to pair it with the frame type. For instance, on the Mandalorian film, this has a chemistry where it's really contrasted. Uh, it's pretty cool looking, but you do have to be in the right conditions to really take advantage of that. Um, but that is something that they add to some of these special edition frames. And the Stranger Things film was no exception. There were in total 16 different frames. So you would think if you bought like two packs of these or maybe even just three packs, you would get them all. That is completely false. I have shot almost 20 packs of this and there's still one frame that I've never gotten and I'm starting to think it doesn't exist. Uh, and that is the one that is right here on the cover of the box too. I believe it's like one of the arcade variants because they do a couple different variants per photo. But yeah, I have not seen it ever. So I wonder if it exists. I've gotten every one of them after that though. I really wish they would bring some more Stranger Things film out. I mean, it'd be really cool to see a new Stranger Things camera, don't get me wrong, but I would love to have some more film from it. There was also a secret, yeah, on Polaroid's website. Um, I unfortunately missed out on this because I wasn't really shooting instant photography when this came out back in 2019. It wasn't until about a year later when I was really diving into it. I remember wanting this and I was gonna buy it and I saw the price of the film and I'm like, that's insane. I'm never gonna spend that on film. Yeah, well, look what happened. <laughs> I was actually lucky enough to get some of this on clearance from like Thinky. I got like three or four boxes of this for $5 each when they were going out of business. But I digress. Now back to the secret. The secret there on Polaroid's website was there was a video game. Yeah, you could access the secret video game on their website. I can't remember like on how to do it, but it was like some sort of secret gate or entryway on their website to allow you to play a video game, which I believe it was just kind of like a, like a Stranger Things theme dig dug, which makes sense because of season two of Stranger Things. They were, that was a big deal uh, when they were playing the arcade uh, games, but I missed out on that. And now it's gone forever. I think you can still see some gameplay of it from other people, but yeah, you far as I know, you can't play that game anymore. But it's still a really cool integration and collaboration uh, between Stranger Things and Polaroid. And since I still have a couple of boxes, three, I think to be exact, I'm pretty sure I've got three left. I'm actually gonna be taking a special trip here again and be checking out the Stranger Things experience once again. Uh, but this time in Los Angeles, coming up in about a month or so, I will be headed down there and I'm gonna be doing some really fun stuff there. The Stranger Things experience, if you guys haven't seen it already, I've done a video there. I've, I've uh, went to the San Francisco show. I had a blast, almost got kicked out actually. Link in the description to find out. They've actually changed the show up a little bit and added a couple of things to the mixtape area. So it's a little bit different experience. And plus I will be bringing along a friend. So I'm really, really excited. And if you guys want to see that, I'll be posting a video on that once that happens. But also the Stranger Things pop-up store was really cool too. I checked it out in Miami. I believe that's closing very soon, if not already closed. Actually, I think it closed February 
24th, I think. I think that thing is closed now, but I was able to check it out. It was the last one open in the country at the time I was there, and I was able to shoot some photos and have a good time. Got a couple things. Got this, got this cool Stranger Things Apple Watch, and a bunch of other cool stuff. If you guys are a Spitfire Club member, you can see exactly what I picked up there, because there's an exclusive video for you. Link in the description if you want to check it out. Do you have one of these cameras? They're kind of expensive now, by the way. Or do you have any extra film laying around that you don't want? Let me know, please, because I would love to purchase it from you. <laughs> I'm almost out and I love it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Now, get out there, make some art.